20, 22, 19.6, 19.8, 21, I'm going to call it about 20, it's 19.8 right now. Bypass the carabiner. So there's the carabiner bypassed. Put that right back where it was. Zero the scale. Okay, carabiner bypass. Now we see 47. 47. 44. 42. 45. 43. 41. 42, 42, so 42, 42, 40, so about 41 or 42, okay, so the dog bone is bypassed, the carabiner is engaged, there may be Probably pretty insignificant friction as the line comes up around behind the back of my scale. But so right now we're seeing 31, 28, 26, 26, 26, 27, 26. 25, 24, if it gets further down where the line isn't compressed, gets a little later, there's 28, 28 is probably going to be a pretty good number. This time we have the large shackle and the dog bone are engaged. Scale is zero. So once again, it's the large shackle and the dog bone. And we are seeing 16.8, 18, 19.4. Okay, there's the shackle engaged and the dog bone is bypassed. And we are seeing 29, looks like it's going to be running right around, well there's 25, 22, 23, 21, 23. All right, this is with an 8,800 pound rated shackle from West Marine and with the dog bone engaged, the shackle engaged and a hitch engaged and I've lowered the weight and I'm seeing 16, 16, 18, 19, 21, 19, seems very, very similar to what an aluminum 
tobacco does. Or I mean, aluminum carabiner does. Not supposed to use them because it'll tear them up on the metal. But just kind of curious. And there's 16, 19. This is set up in the traditional DDRT system. Uh, unlike when we had a DDRT system with one leg connected to the hitchhiker and we saw that we had to bypass the carabiner or the shackle. In this case, we have the climber attached to both legs of the doubled system. And so the hitchhiker is only seeing half of the load and it applies uh, its percentage of friction along with the uh, dog bone and because it's only applying 50% uh, of the load it's taking a percentage of only that 50% of the load and by the time it goes through the dog bone and the shackle it's leaving very little for the hitch itself to do and that's why it is so smooth and takes such little effort in the traditional double drope system. This is what happens if you connect uh, a uh, side of your climbing system on a double drope to the hitchhiker itself in that um, now if the uh, shackle or the uh, carabiner in this case is engaged on the climbing line then too much friction is going to be applied to one leg of the climbing line and it will not permit you to go down. Uh, this is the example of when you have to bypass that uh, carabiner or the shackle in order to make it work. Now it's set up in a conventional DDRT system with the exception that one half of the system is attached directly to the hitchhiker providing uh, configurations for the V-Rig and the M-Rig and in this case because the load is uh, being applied to the hitchhiker the lower carabiner or shackle needs to be bypassed and when it is bypassed it uh, functions just as a DDRT system would uh, with the additional friction of the dog bone and I found it left only about 11 kilograms uh, left to be uh, carried by the hitch itself making it uh, very smooth. Just out of curiosity, I've always wondered what it would be like if you run it upside down. Because the angle of the slot, the plane, will provide, you would think, a lot more pressure against the climbing line. And this one, less. But um, this providing more pressure against the climbing line, be interesting to see. Like the rope wrench, the hitchhiker works by providing a percentage of friction. Never more than, or never, never 100%, or you wouldn't be able to descend. So, if we put the weight on it now, we start out with 20, 30, kilograms is being provided by the friction hitch and so as we let that go down now 
that's only 12 kilograms. Oh, look at that. It went to nothing. It started to slip back down. But there for a second, it was completely slack. In other words, that dog bone was providing all of the slack. There it goes again. There it's providing all of the slack. So if you ever installed this upside down for some reason, you're not going to fall to your death, but you might be a long time getting back down out of the tree.